How much would you pay for a glimpse of the future? More importantly, if you saw the future, would you take advantage of it? Or would this be just another missed opportunity? The stock you should have sold, the land you could have bought, the opportunity you would have taken, but didn't. How many more opportunities are going to fall into your lap? This may be your last chance. Pay attention. Once every decade, something really big comes along. In the 70s, it was VCRs. In the 80s, it was personal computers. In the 90s, it was the Internet. People who were positioned correctly in the 80s became millionaires. People who were positioned correctly in the 90s became billionaires. What do you think is going to happen in the next few years? In his best-selling books, The Next Trillion and Wellness Revolution, noted economist Paul Zane Pilzer states that in this decade, an additional $1 trillion annually of the U.S. economy will be devoted to the wellness industry, providing healthy people products and services to make them feel even healthier, look better, slow down the effects of aging, or to prevent diseases from developing in the first place. Think about it. Most wellness industry sales did not even exist two decades ago. Today, they already total approximately $300 billion in annual sales, about the same amount spent on new automobiles in the U.S. Today, $300 billion a year. By the end of this decade, $1 trillion. That's $1,000 billion a year. For those of you not into math, that is 300% growth. How is that kind of growth possible? How is that kind of growth predictable? Two words, baby boomers. You've been hearing about them for over 20 years. They've been dictating our economy for over 20 years. Isn't it about time you cashed in? The baby boomers are now in their 40s and 50s. Peak earning years, bigger dollars, more spending power. Boomers are already responsible for the housing boom, the sport utility vehicle, personal computers, and the Internet. In short, boomers and the things they want are already six trillion of our 12 trillion dollar economy. Even though they're less than 30 percent of our population, they're 50 percent of our gross domestic product. More significantly, they're about to add one trillion to their six trillion dollars of spending every year to preserve the one thing they hope works better than any SUV, condo, or computer, their youth. <laughs> Youth, anti-aging, health, wellness, the next big thing. By taking control of their lives, baby boomers are creating a revolution in wellness. And it is happening fast. Look, changes that used to take place over decades now take place in a few years or less. When Henry Ford invented the Model T in 1908, it took seven decades for automobiles to become a $1 trillion industry. When IBM released the first PC in 1981, it took only one decade for the PC to surpass automobile sales and become a $1 trillion industry. Now, the wellness industry will exceed $1 trillion in just the next five years. $1 trillion. That's $2.7 billion every day, $114 million every hour, $1.9 million every minute. In the 1990s, the number of U.S. millionaire families rose from 3.6 million to 7.2 million. Economist Pilzer predicts that an additional 3.6 million families will become millionaires over the next five years, many of them by working in the wellness industry. So how do you cash in on this wellness revolution? You have four options. One, as a practitioner. Two, as a manufacturer. Three, as a retailer. Or four, as a distributor. Practitioners like doctors, massage therapists, chiropractors, and naturopathic healers stand to make a fortune in the next few years. If they can afford to pay off their school loans. If they can stay ahead of the insurance companies. If they keep trading time for money. 
Manufacturing is a great business to be in. If you have millions to invest in infrastructure, patents, research, shipping and receiving. Retailing? Sure, great opportunity. If you can afford franchise fees, seven-day work weeks, advertising, inventory, and employee problems. Distribution? Exactly. Because the greatest personal fortunes of the past three decades were made by people who found better ways of distributing things rather than better ways of making things. People like Sam Walton of Walmart and Fred Smith of Federal Express. But where Walton and Smith found better ways to physically distribute products that consumers already knew they wanted, the new distribution billionaires of this decade will make their fortunes distributing products that consumers don't often know exist. The new distribution billionaires, people like Jeff Bezos of Amazon.com, made their fortunes educating consumers about new products and new distribution channels. It's been called business at the speed of thought. Better products, better distribution, better opportunity. Why? Because 78 million baby boomers with 1,000 billion in cash can't be stopped. They want to go rollerblading. They want to drive sports cars. They don't want to age. And they are willing to spend almost anything to stay young, healthy, and full of vitality. Over the next five years, U.S. baby boomers will increase their spending on wellness-based products and services from approximately $300 billion today to $1 trillion every year. Will you be ready? The person who shared this program with you can introduce you to a wellness distribution business model that's already successful and proven. A model that you can start part-time from your home without a large capital investment, without employees, and without the headaches of traditional business ownership. A business that in your spare time could mean anything from a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand dollars per month. And because it's a home-based business, you could qualify for incredible tax advantages. Imagine it's 1980. And 25-year-old Bill Gates is looking for people to join his new company. He thinks there's going to be an explosion in the market for personal computers. What are you going to do this time? Remember, Sam Walton didn't start Walmart until he was 44. By age 61, he was the richest man in the world. What's your excuse? One thing is for sure, if you watched this video and paid any attention, you can't say you didn't know. When your children and grandchildren ask about the great prosperity of the early 21st century, what will you tell them? Will you be explaining how you positioned yourself and benefited from the opportunity? Or will you be justifying how you missed it? The statistics are real. The trends are real. The timing is real. How many more opportunities are going to fall into your lap? Whatever you do, don't miss this one.